I'm Ryan. And I'm Shane. Welcome to Top 5 Beatdown, a show where we compare top fives for topics that seem completely asinine, yet somehow garner strong opinions. And to add some fun to the mix, we compare our top fives to that of a special guest. But before we do that, let's have a word from our sponsor. Words cannot express how excited I am to say this. This episode is sponsored by the one the only. Raid! Shadow Legends! The Shards are back in action, and there's even more champions to choose from with Raid's new faction, Sylvan Watchers. A great name if I do say so myself. <laughs> the Sylvan Watchers are everything you'd want out of a faction. Forest elves, rock monsters, and spooky tree spirits? Sylvans live in Mistwood, a massive and dangerous jungle on the east side of Teleria. First time I went in, I was scared out of my wits, but luckily there's a safer city there open to outsiders called Nyrisa, where the Nyrisan Union Alliance was formed. Just a little Sylvan history lesson for you. Oh, the Sylvan Watcher champions are connected to nature, which makes their character designs pretty diverse. Here are a few of my faves. Well, Raid has a bunch of events coming up this month. Forge Pass Season 7, opportunities for anniversary points through Titan events, and Valentine's Day activities for the lovers. This month's Prime Gaming Drop features Genbo, available until March 2nd. It's free to play, 650 completely unique champions? Shards? Why, there's nothing else to say. New players, Head over to the link in our description or scan the QR code and get a free starter pack with this in-game host. Thanks again to Raid. And now, back to the Beat Zone. Today's topic is Top 5 Ways to Die. And today's special guest is the co-creator of Smosh, Ian Hecox. Yes! Oh, hello, hello, hello. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for that synchronized clap. That's You're right. Welcome. That's how we do it. We practiced it for months. Now, uh, what makes you interested in dying? You know, I, I've had a lot of time to think about what would be the best way to die. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was truly honored that I was the first person that y'all thought of when you <laughs> thought of this episode, right? Yeah. yeah. Great. Who, who seems like to think about dying a lot? The freaking old guy of YouTube. <laughs> The guy who's near death. I'm elderly as well. Ryan's a spring chicken, but yeah. you and I have had time on this earth to think about how we're going to enter the soil. I guess on that note, how did you guys approach making this list? Was it things you've already thought about, or did you really have to sit down and be like, how oh, am I gonna die, kind of thing? I thought about it from the perspective of like a spectator. Mm. Like if I was to see somebody die and be like, whoa, that's sick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know how people react when they see someone die? <laughs> Have you never? That's sick. <laughs> Dude, that was so sick, bro. <laughs> and then a couple others are just things that I would like for myself. Mine's like a hybrid. What would be just horrifying and a spectacle? Mm. And what would be funny if it happened to me? Or enjoyable, but mostly funny. Mine are just all things I've thought about a lot. Let's, Let's list. list! All right, please reveal your number five. My number five is... Orgasming. Orgasming. <laughs> to death? Yeah, like you <laughs> orgasm and then die. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like you were like getting killed by Jason Voorhees and you're having sex and then he kills you right when you orgasm. I didn't think about the true method for it. So the orgasm is not responsible for cease of life. Could be. Or it could be a Neil Patrick Harris and Gone Girl situation. That's what I was more Oh, gotcha, like, right. You know. Or it could, this is what happens when you do this out of wedlock, kids. You, you will, will die. die. We're all, hey, look, look, let's, we're gonna level with you. We're three deeply religious guys. Very, very super. Very. I mean, the church sponsors this show. Yeah. Yeah, this is a purity ring. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Anyways, my number five is of old age, surrounded by loved ones in bed. All right. Pretty boring, but I had to put this one in here. It would be nice to be, you know, re recalling accomplishments, failures, passing on some knowledge to the youth. It's kind of embarrassing to die, though. I, I feel like I'd shoo people out of the room, like, go oh, get me a popsicle. I would and like then, to. And then they'd leave, and then I'd be like, okay, they're gone. It's an. Oh! I mean, that's the last <laughs> lesson you can impart to your grandchildren. This is what death looks like. Now remember this. Yeah. And then yeah, you should. Well, you have to tell them, like, I hid. A large amount of treasure, and it's in a 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Give him something to do. It's a great prank. Yeah. I am DB Cooper. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyways, uh, that's my number five. It's a very sentimental one. I'm a sentimental guy. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. Thank you. I respect your list. It's cute. My number five is. Next snap. Wow. Okay, that's okay. cool. I'd like it to be public, like at a mall or something. Okay. Oh, like a, like a Wetzel's Pretzels or some shit like that? Sure, anywhere. You know in movies when they do it really dramatically, yeah. they're like, Shush. Yeah. That's what I want. Do you want to be like a henchman or something? Like, I think I just want to be me, and I want the other person to just really not like me. Like you cut them in line at Wetzel's Pretzels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, now I'm seeing this scenario Which play is out. fair, because that is a next snappable offense. Yeah, so yeah. yes, can we put it in post? No. At Wetzel Brett, or I'm an Auntie Anne's man. Oh, we don't. We don't have the budget to I'm do that. Auntie Anne's man. Ideally, I get a bite of my pretzel beforehand. No, I, like the I think it's no? like just it's like, oh, oh, it, it's actually, like in your esophagus. I don't want it to even grace his taste buds. I want it to be just on the threshold of his lips. You know what? I like how dramatic that is. It's like so heartbreaking for me to be like, mm. huh? Because oh. everyone's first question after they heard you hear how Shane Bidet died. Follow up question. First one would be, did he eat his pretzel? No. Yeah. Don't even give them that. That's sad. I'm sad Shane's dead, but I'm even sadder he didn't get a little bite of pretzel with a cheese dip. All right, my number four is doing a series of backflips on a motorcycle so fast your body flies apart. <laughs> I like that. You know how like whenever the X Games comes out or Nitro oh! Circus, and there's always like, this guy did a double backflip, and now people are doing triple backflips. I want to do a series of backflips that is so inhumanly possible yeah. that my body flies apart into pieces and sends bits of my body into the stands. That's uh, amazing. Uh, now I have a question: I like Would that. bits of your body kill other people upon impact? Yeah, yeah, probably at that velocity. Mm -hmm. Assuming that like probably the bones, yeah, but the yeah. People that get hit with my flesh, it's probably just kind of like a... It's like when they blew that whale up on the beach. Exactly. That's right. That crushed cars and shit, though. Yeah. I don't yeah. think... Yeah. You could do that. Maybe. Thank you. I think. Depending on what body part, yeah. I suppose. The skull? That's heavy. Mine is. That's true. Your skull could bust through concrete. I'm a fucking wrecking ball. Well, okay. Big ass skull. Anyways, let's move on to my number four. Okay. My number four is, and I can't remember... Oh, yeah! Accidental electrocution. Oh. Okay. So I had to like really stress accidental. Like I don't want to be in the electric chair. But if I'm like you know doing the old socket test, licking my finger, putting it inside, that's not really an accident either. Dude, but, no, like, I was gonna say. Um, why would you do that? More like I'm hanging up my Christmas lights. Does your family witness this, or you're surrounded by your loved ones? <laughs> you're a sentimental guy. I just want to know. Let me paint a picture for you. Yeah. Okay. You know when you get older and you're really proud of like all your decorations and lights in front of you, kind of like National Lampoon. Yes. It's that moment I gather all the family mm. out in the driveway and I watch what dad's done, plug it in, and that's when yeah. I, when I yeah. bite it hard. Yeah, that's sick. Um, Especially if you have an element of pride and you're showing your children like, Exactly. You're gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> now watch me get barbecued. Will Let's, blood come out of your eyes? I'm not quite sure. I've only, my only reference for someone getting electrocuted is that scene in Home Alone, yeah. so I would yeah. have to assume oh, it looks yeah, sure. exactly like that. It's a lot less, because uh, in Home Alone it's sort of like, Whoa! You know, the scream. I think your muscle is just. Yeah, yeah that was better. good. Uh, but yeah. in real life, everyone just kind of goes like. Yeah, your muscles just like tense yeah, up. Yeah, tense. Think. Which actually did happen to me on an unsolved trip. I tried to fix one of our little IR lights that oh, was on did. the ground in a lighthouse, and, and it did make my whole body go like yeah. this. And, uh, and I just walked around, and I was just like. <laughs> and now I could hear people's heartbeats. Did it, cu did it cure your depression? No, it made it worse. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> My number four is the vacuum of space. Ah. That's good. You want to die like Ebony Ma in Endgame. I want to die like Ebony Ma in Endgame. So you're talking like full frozen popsicle, a Shane-sicle. Yeah. I don't know if it's me just up there in the inky black or if maybe uh, I get blasted out an airlock mm. for betraying my shipmates or on the moon. This is like when we habitate Mars or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kick me out. Oh, They're it could kicking be like me out. Uh, Arnold in Magic School Bus. He takes his helmet off on the moon. We just talked about Dude, this. Dude, that's a wild. It's horrifying. They straight up show a child die and in And his a eyes turn purple. <laughs> carry his frozen ass back into the magic school bus. It scarred me. Now let's move on to Ian for his number three. My number three is 
the ravages of time. Mm, Father yeah, so time. Very There's, in keeping with uh, old age. Yeah, but this is less like being surrounded by loved ones and more like outlasting everyone that you know oh. and that knows you. Yes. So you die completely alone. Nobody has any knowledge of, of who you are. Yeah. You're just like dead one day in your house or something. Hella old. They probably find out about it like months later because there's a smell. I was just about to ask how long there's until they discover your Probably corpse. months. Probably months. Because we'll just assume that like I also outlived my pets. Like there's just barely any recognizable features anymore. And it's just a horrible sight. Nice. So yeah, I, I really just want to outlast everyone. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, cool. People walk in. It's like that scene from Seven. Have a bunch of air fresheners hanging up. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on to my uh, number three here. My number three is... Skydiving accident. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, okay. Now see, now this, purely based in the realm of spectacle, yeah. I love the idea of me mm -hmm. hitting the ground at maximum velocity and just exploding like a bag of chili. Yeah. Just covering everybody. Mm. Ideally, I fall in like a very populated area. I can't oh, okay. admit. A pool would, I guess. A be pool, cool. oh yeah. my God. Imagine, <laughs> like, just like all the water's gone. <laughs> like a dad back there like, hey, you guys want some more margaritas? And then just <laughs> Yeah. Or if you just miss the pool and instead, crap like <laughs> hit the grill. Another part of it is just how horrifying. Because you'd be like, fuck, I can't believe this is gonna happen. And I would imagine there would be some sort of radical acceptance by the last third where I realized, okay, I'm going to rock it into the ground and die now. I'd start flapping. I think I would just accept it and just mm. be like, all right, what are the last thoughts I wanna have on earth? You would actually be able to plan them in a way where you're That's like, true. okay, I'm gonna think about popcorn once I hit the ground. Like, well, I will say people have had their shoots not open and lived. Yeah. How is that even possible? Uh, sometimes they hit trees, other times it's just- I would imagine. Angled you know. slope. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you could roll it out. Yeah. <laughs> like a ninja. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they weren't, I'm sure they didn't walk away from that. Yeah, they yeah. weren't like, wow, <laughs> that was crazy. I guess I'm fine. My number three is... Boats. Boats. Okay, pretty vague. Are you talking about a boat propeller? Are you talking about like a Titanic death? Mm. Talking about an ancient Persian method of torture. Oh God, I know what you're talking Execution. about. Execution. Jesus Christ, uh, man. Otherwise known as scafism. Is this like a boat version of drawing and quartering? Ian, let me tell you what they oh, do. Oh, he's gonna okay. explain it. It's, he's, he's, this, guy, this guy's sick. They take your body and they tie you to a boat. Okay. And then they put another boat on top of you. Wait, I'm confused. No, sure, sure, they babe. put you on a boat. And you're on a boat. boat. You're tied to a boat. Okay. They put another boat on top of you, almost like a tortoise shell. Well, that sounds like it would just kill you right there. It's, you know, upside down. So you're in like a little pod, basically. Oh, right? okay. And there's uh, things can get in through the two boats. What they do then is they push you out on a lake, but before they do, they force feed you milk and honey. Milk and honey, milk and honey, milk and honey. They feed you so much milk and honey. Uh, what? And what happens is when you have that much milk and honey, you just start shitting. You shit till the cows come home. And then bugs from the lake will start to what? crawl into the boats. What? And crawl up in all your little orifices and lay eggs and uh, just get all up in you. What? They bring you back to shore. They fill you with some more milk and honey. And then they push you back out. And they just do that for a long, long time because the milk and the honey is, you know, keeps you going. And I understand that it's torturous and probably not very fun, but mm. uh, I love milk. <laughs> That's what he would be doing. That right there, little farts. So okay, I, there's a lot. To, yeah, to, I, I to... want to ask more questions, but also I don't. Oh, imagine just unturtle shelling it and revealing like the worst cloche of all time, just taking that shit off, and yeah. you're just mangled by bugs. A big bloated shame. See, it sounds like torture for the people that have to do the torture too. That's I like... bet they're having fun. They're sickos, Ian. You spray sickos. It with the hose and this too. is from what, what time? Antiquity. That's okay. medieval shit right there. It seems like a waste of a perfectly good boat. Two, two good two boats. Good. One of them's gonna be filled with shit. My number two is a pack of rescue dogs. Oh, I, w I gotta say, dogs? Or like number six for me. Oh yeah? I, I find them horrifying, but rescue dogs is a nice touch. Yeah, yeah, so I figure like you're doing a good for humanity. Yeah. You're feeding rescue dogs, which I think is very cute. Wait a second, so you're getting the rescue dogs and having them eat you. Yeah, I'm basically like getting like, have you ever seen like a pack of wild dogs? I have. 
Scary. Like they figure it out very quickly. Like they organize into a pack of small dogs, big dogs. Yeah. They can do some damage. They'll so fuck you up, yeah. Yeah, a pack of a pack of rescue dogs, specifically rescue dogs, because they need a win on the board. Yeah. You know? So they just tear me to pieces, Yikes. get some sustenance. And hopefully they get they get adopted. They would eat everything. They'd eat your balls and all that shit. The that, that's thing. the first thing they'd eat. Yeah, probably. That's probably. I mean, they and the cheeks the, probably. The balls and the cheeks. Well, fun. My number two is on a roller coaster, preferably Space Mountain. Oh. Uh, I I wanted to get greedy, and I did. I suppose I put it in parentheses, which is the coward's way. I think dying on a roller coaster, whether it be from a heart attack or the whole or the roller coaster has like some horrible accident, that's truly for me dying doing what I love, which mm. is riding rides at a theme park. And if I could do it in Space Mountain, not only do I get the thrill of dying on a roller coaster, but I don't freak everyone out because it's dark. Uh, but don't you turn know. the lights on. It would be funny, like, because you know, there's there's spots where it feels really really close. It does. Yeah. You just kind of lean out and, and just let just, it take your head off. And then like it. it comes to a rest at the end of the ride. And it's just your body with no head. Talk about an excellent ride photo that you want to purchase. <laughs> just blood spurting out of my neck hole. Everybody behind you just covered in it. Everyone's like, Jesus Christ. And Shane covered in blood goes, I'll take that on a magnet, please. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you have a fridge magnet of that, an eight by seven? Anyways, I'd like to die in Space Mountain. Filled with churros. Very similar. I said space, you said space. Totally different. All right. And you know it. We're buds. So, I respect Don't waste my time. Okay, number two. My number two is... Killed by clone. Okay. Oh. All right. When you want the clone to be the age you are now, and you're an old man getting killed by a younger version of yourself. Mm. I'm happy. Like I'm that happy. Will Smith movie. I'm happy anyway. I think it would be cool. Gemini if, man. Gemini man. It would be cool if there was a Gemini Shane who could uh, strangle me with his little hands. But at the same time, it would be fun if uh, you know Ryan doesn't know this, but cloning does not work like zero. I did think that at first. Yeah. In a world where it does, I would love to have that tussle mm. where I'm saying, no, 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 it's me. And then the other one's making arguments, and then one of us gets shot in the head. Oh, I thought you meant like fighting a cloned version of yourself. I would I actually, do that too, but I would love a third part. I would love you, actually. To have to make the choice. To yeah, and I'm, oh. I'm guessing you'd put a bullet in both of our heads. Yeah, because at that point I could be like, I didn't know which one. They both rushed me. They didn't. Yeah. I mm. shot them both. Maybe this has already happened, and the cloned Shane will give something away. Like maybe we're on a ghost hunt, and I'm like, you know what? That actually didn't sound like a voice and you just as a throwaway go, it sounded like a voice to me too. And I just kind of go. Other other Shane believes in ghosts. And, and I was just <laughs> like, what did you just say? And then I pull my Glock out. Yeah. We've gone a little too far in this. Let's go yeah. to our number. Wait, what if we were strangling each other at the same time and we both died together? Kind it's of tragic. It's kind of perverse, honestly. It seems like something you've thought of. Before. Like I put my whole fist in his mouth and he puts his whole fist in my I don't mouth. Think that's how it Let's works. talk about you fisting your clone on a different day. <laughs> something to think about. It's not. It's not. Think I won't. about it. I never will. Let's move on to our number ones. Ian, take us Ooh, home. Oh, this is exciting. My number one is. Space! Oh, shit. oh okay. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing, honestly, truly, there's nothing cooler than space. Yeah. So why not die out there? That'd be great. Yeah! 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 yeah. It's like some alien civilization comes by you like 50,000 years later. You know, we'll be some aliens sick. like, I love Smosh. I know. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that guy. Hell yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm just realizing, you know, what would be cool is uh, what if you were on the moon? and you stand there by the flag. You're holding the flag. Oh. Like waving, like welcome to the moon. Yeah, welcome But you're to dead, Earth. you're like propped up, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Is there, do, mm -hmm. do you want an alien to kill you? No, I was thinking this is like, this is either a planned thing, like I get jettisoned out, like they launch me out of like a rocket and then the pod opens once I'm out. That's there. cool. Or I think it would be a really funny prank is, okay, so let's say we're on like a ship going to Mars and then like one night when everyone's sleeping, I just sneak into the airlock and jettison myself without telling anyone or That's leaving good. any trace. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I've thought about this more now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so Mars is a long trip, right? So I wait several months while people start losing it, you know? They're kind of going a little crazy being stuck inside a ship for so long. Yeah. And then I wait one night when everyone's sleeping and jettison myself out with all my things and leave no trace that I ever actually truly existed. Oh! So they wake up and they're like, where's Ian? And they're like, there was no Ian. 
That's good. There's, That's there's no proof that an Ian ever existed. Are we going crazy? That's your little gift yeah. that you leave behind. That'd I kind of like that. Awesome prank. I love it. I love it. I'm excited Thank for you. the future. Me too. My number one is, yes, strangled by my child. Yeah. I forgot. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, forgot. yes. I, I thought this was a nice way to bookend it because this is really happy. This is another reality where I was a horrible father and now my child is killing me like Joaquin Phoenix in Gladiator. I like that. Here's the thing. I think you'll probably be a great papa one day. Thank you. I almost like the version of this where you are a great dad, but you got a bad seed. That's You've got yourself a little Damien boy. Um, That's true. Damien, do you want some cookies? And he's like, fuck you, papa. You know? <laughs> fuck chocolate chip. Yeah. That's fun too. I just like it that it plays on the theme that the youth is coming and they will kill you. Yes. Um, and I'm fine with that. I think they mm. should kill me. And who better to do it than uh, the youth that is my own seed? At what age are they strangling you? Right when they're like of the physical abilities to overpower you? Yeah. Okay. I think every dad has that moment when their kid beats them for the first time in one-on-one -on -one in basketball, which is gonna be a sad day for me. Mm. This would be like the ultimate version of that when he realizes I could take this guy because he's tried to strangle me and several his arms times. are long Longer now yeah. than yours. Yeah, He's probably right. gonna be taller than you. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's very poetic. Obviously, I'd prefer number five, mm. but if number one is the alternative, also equally entertaining, I'd love to see that circulated online. Yes. Ryan Bergara strangled by his own child. I'd love to read the headline. I'd quote tweet that with an LMFAO. <laughs> yeah. All right, my number one is Apocalypse! Oh. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Wow. To me, in my mind, I'm imagining the sun sort of expanding and swallowing the earth. That's oh. not far-fetched. But I'll far -fetched. take nuclear apocalypse. Right. I'll take- Also not far-fetched. Some sort of uh, satellite in space, maybe a meteor or asteroid of some kind slamming into the that earth. That actually almost happened as well. Or a, a moonfall <laughs> situation. I didn't see the film, but it looked very realistic. I feel like it would be like going on vacation with your friends, because one of the things, you know, look, we're all gonna die. Yeah, that why was too long. We're, thank you. We're all gonna die. It's gonna happen. And I think one of the, the comforting things about death is like, mm. well, look at all the people who've done this. That's Bob Ross. Uh, who else has died? Betty White, finally. Uh, this is the weirdest in memoriam. To know that everyone will be going with you. We're all done. We're done. What's We've your, done it. If all three of us right now, like everyone in this room, saw the sun get closer and closer and we realized- we hands. I would hold hands with all of you as yeah, we okay. got burned to death. You, you okay. gave an okay to that and not a yes, I agree. You wouldn't hold hands with us? You son of a bitch. I don't know. We're I, the best I, you got right here. I, I, I don't know you that well. But you think it's gonna be like a slow warming? No, I think it'd be fast. I want it to be fast. I want but you wouldn't know, fast. you wouldn't realize like this is the end. You're like, oh, it's getting kind of hot. <laughs> Like you wouldn't be like, this is it. You're like, it's hot, right? And you would be it's like, pretty hot. You guys got AC here at Watcher HQ because it's it's pretty fucking it's hot. It's pretty hot. Oh, or like a Terminator Two situation where we're all just on a chain link fence, sort of like. I'd hold your hands for that. Yeah, that'd be fun. Well, in any case, I think it'd be lovely if we all got incinerated together. That'd okay. be kind of cool. Well, that does it for this episode of Top 5 Beatdown. Actually, let's show you guys all our lists here. Mm. Make sure you guys chime off in the comments about whose list you liked, whose list you disliked. It's maybe some picks in particular that you were fond of. How do you want to die? How do you want to die? How do you want to fucking die? Thank you, Ian, for coming down. Make sure you check out Ian over on Smosh. You guys have a couple channels over there, right? We have a couple channels. You guys went on our Smosh Pit channel uh, for Eat It or Eat It. We had so some delicious snacks check over that there. Out. Yeah. We'll throw some of those links here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Also, wow, well, look at those. That's a lot of links. That's a tasty ass link. Also, check the description for that. All right, well, that does it for this episode of Top 5 Beatdown. Thank you all for watching. That's, That's the, the list. list.